All right, guys. So here it is. Uh, this is a content that was planned for quite a lot of time now. And it's pretty much it's a content that now it's, I think, viral on the Internet and it's called Pick a Pile. So uh, this month's topic, the topic of December about the Pick a Pile is going to be uh, relationship wise. Uh, I don't know how exactly should I name it because it's uh, pretty much people use how does he or she feels about me. But that's not going to be entirely correct here because with the spread chosen, uh, you are going to learn so much more about it, about your relationship if you go for it if that is the thing you focus on about your interest love interest because the spread that i'm going to use here in this pick a pile it's a 10 card spread and as we mentioned the spread a uh, big shout out for the pisces moonbeam uh, that is in, in a reader on my website because she literally gave me that spread and the spread is remarkable and i do believe and i do think that every single tarot book that's it's extensive should have that spread uh, imported anyway so that being said one more thing here uh, those who are cross watching uh, that's okay I mean that uh, if you do have a person in mind and you want to pick a pile in regards to them or for their regard that's uh, that's okay as well I mean you, you, you can feel free to do so it should be a fairly accurate as well uh, okay, so let's now shuffle the deck and construct the piles. All right, so we said 10 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is going to be the first pile here. And uh, I'm going to put this stone over it. So if that attracts you, that is your pile. Now the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that will construct the second pile and the stone that we're going to put on him uh, on, on the pile itself is going to be this one. Then uh, we are going to go the third pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's the third pile. The stone we have for that pile is going to be this one. Um, let's squeeze them a little bit to make a room for the fourth one um, like this All right and so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have the fourth one and that will be the stone for it All right so whichever pile attracts you intuitively or you feel drawn to it so that's your pile once again we have pile number one pile number two then we do have pile number three and the last one is pile number one uh no, but number four excuse me all right so uh that is about the piles guys and now uh, hopefully you already chose your pile and uh, let's move to the cards and see what kind of a cards you having you all that's um chose the first pile have in store. So the first one is going to be the energy around the partner or the person you're thinking of. Uh, you do have, once again, uh, you do have the 10 of swords here. Uh, then the next one uh, is going to be uh, what they are uh, focusing on the, at the moment. And that will be the two of cups. The third position here, it is how do they feel about you right now, guys? And that will be the uh, Hierophant card. Followed by the fourth position here, which is what can they do or uh, what can you do, excuse me, for yourself to help yourself or to, to help the situation? That will be the Tree of Swords. <clears throat> 
followed by the fifth position here is what do you uh what do you have over your competition at that point and that will be the uh prince of cups the sixth position it is what this person needs from you to help your situation and that will be the queen of swords followed by the seven one the seven position which represents uh, the uh the challenges here and that will be the seven of wands uh, afterwards we do have the positive in all this that will be the five of swords the the one before the last one here it represents what not to do so things that you should not do that is the prince of swords and then the last one for you those who chose the first pile is going to be the final guidance and that will be the nine of pentacles all right fantastic so uh that is about the first pile and we're going to take a look at it when we open the other the other piles i'm doing that so there are no speculations that the cards are um how can i say it staged all right so those who are for the second pile let's see what we do have for you so the energies around the partner or the person that you're thinking of once again they are reversed i don't know why i set up that anyway so <clears throat> The energies are the Prince of Wands. Afterwards, it is what they can focus on at the moment. What they are focusing on at the moment, excuse me, that will be the uh, Justice. Followed by the third card of what, <clears throat> how do they feel about you right now? That will be the Two of Swords. Then the, the uh, fourth position here, once again, was what can they, uh, what can you do to uh, help your situation and that will be the princess of cups followed by the fifth position here of what do uh, what do you have over your competition and that will be the four of wands then the sixth position is, is what this person needs from you to help your situation that will be the two of wands followed by the next one which is the challenge and that will be the sun card the eighth position is the positive and all that we have the hermit one before the last it is what you should not do here that will be the tower card pretty obvious and the last one is the final guidance of the tree of pentacles all right great so that was uh, the second pile and uh, let's move to the third one all right so uh the first card which it is once again the energies around the partner or the person you're thinking of that will be the eight of swords out. all right so that will be the eight of swords um followed by the next one which is what they are focusing at the moment and that will be the death card then it is how do they feel about you right now and that will be the eight of cups followed by the fourth one of what can you do in order to help yourself in all that we have the queen of cups then it is uh what do you have over your competition that is going to be the tree of wands. Then what this person needs from you in order to improve the situation, that is going to be the queen of pentacles. Afterwards, it is the challenge, and that will be the five of pentacles, followed by the positive in all that. We have the page of wands. Then it is what you should not do. Here we do have the king of wands. And the last one, it is the guidance, flawless. We have the full card. All right, so that was about the third deck, the third pile, and now let's take a look at the fourth one. So once again, the spread, the energies around the person or the partner that you are thinking of, we have the star card. Then uh, the next one is what they are focusing at the moment. We have the princess of swords. Then it is how do they feel about you right now? And that is the nine of swords followed but what can you do to improve the situation here or to help yourself in this we have the princess of pentacles afterwards is going to be what do you ever uh, what do you have over your uh, competition that will be the king of pentacles afterwards it is what this person needs from you in order to improve the situation that is going to be the ten of pentacles Afterwards, it is the challenge here of the five of wands. Then it is the positive in all that, which is going to be the strength card. The one before the last one is what you should not do in all this. 
that will be the Ace of Cups. And then the last one here, it is the Guidance, and we do have the Eight of Wands. All right, so we do have our decks, and uh, let's jump in. All right, so this is going to be the interpretations of uh, the piles. And we're starting with the very first one, and that is going to be the card we draw, which is um, the energy uh, around the partner or the person that uh, you are thinking of. And uh, the card here is going to be the Ten of Swords, so not very good energy, obviously. Now, the Ten of Swords, when we're talking about energies, it does point that the person here has a determination to force something, to, uh, to provoke something. Either you follow them or not, they, uh, these energies are pushing that particular person to provoke a new dawn in, um, in their lives, if you will. So um, here you can take it as a, a very last train that you have to catch in case, you know, with that person you do have any disagreements whatsoever. Or the other way of taking a look at that card is that this person requires from you to be a bit more aggressive. You know, those energies here that are swirling around them, they want a fast progress, which is typical with the Ten of Swords because the energies that are surrounding this person is making that person to demand and want and making a um, decisions that are drastic and actions that are drastic as well. In other words, decisions and actions which there is no turning back. It could be an ultimatum as well. You know that person has an energy around them to place in an ultimatum. Are you gonna be with me or you're not gonna be with me? Make up your mind right now in this moment, you know. And it's a bit heavy kind of an energy here uh, that you have to tackle with. But once you make up your mind about it, once you take on the, all those actions, those uh, really aggressive and heavy energies are gonna be replaced with more a positive ones, if you will, you know, more a milder kind of uh, energies. So the next card here, uh, which is uh, what they are focusing on right now, it's going to be the Two of Cups, and it's pretty obvious that they are focusing upon love. So it's, uh, to me, at least, just from the first couple of cards here, guys, it speaks that that person a, uh, had enough, all right? They, they just had stole as much as they can. And uh, right now, they just want a, a definitive answer or definitive hint or, a, you know, definitive presumption here that something is about to happen, something is going to happen. Another thing, it is that what they are focusing on right now with the Two of Cups, it is the, uh, how do I say it here? The, um, the gentleness, uh, the, um, the performance or approach without any shyness behind, without any uh, withdrawal as well, these kind of games of cat and mouse, where even though one wants to be with the other, they simply withdraw because, I don't know, because this is how, you know, the, the code of conduit dictates that you shouldn't give yourself way too easy and so on and so forth. So they are focusing on finding love. Are they going to find it from you? Well, that depends on how you're going to tackle with the energies here, which we saw that it, it does require a, a definitive answer from you or a definitive approach here to, to at least show that you do have an interest, that you do want to make it work, you know, that you do want the reconciliation, something, they just want something from you. So the third uh, card, it is how do they feel about you at that moment? I'm just reading this prep. It's way too much, guys, uh, to um, to divulge, not to divulge, but to digest right now with all the other words. So I, I didn't make my homework here to memorize the spread, so I'm reading it right now. So how do they feel about you? It is the third card. And that is another testam uh, testament that it is an impromptu thing. Um, that is the Hierophant. So they are placing their trust in you. The feeling is about trust and they are hoping, I mean hoping, that if you traverse that threshold they have set with the energies, that they are going to redefine 
the new meaning of love. So it's kind of like they're expecting from you. Their feelings are that you are going to surprise them pleasantly. Okay. And they just really want from um, not kind of once but they're feeling that they can trust you that that's the true feeling here and uh, with the higher funds um, one relationship or an interaction or whatever goes um, goes beyond just this love that provokes a butterflies into one's stomach all right i will here we're talking about the unfoldment of really uh, slowly unfolding uh, slow unfoldment of a real love where yeah the butterflies in the stomachs uh, in the stomach are not there but you can have a person that uh, will off the, the, it's capable to give you a benevolent support someone to talk to someone that is going to miss you you're going to miss them as well so i don't think that that is something you have to give up simply like this just because you are facing those kind of uh, aggressive energies. I really can't say bad energies. Aggressive energies, where the uh, the knife it's pretty much is touching the bone, and something has to be done right now, today, not tomorrow, today. Um, also about the feelings, uh, they do feel kind of like that that there should be more um elaboration in between you two like there are things um unspoken there are things unexplained in between you two and um, if kind of like you are on the edge here it would be a good thing if you allow them to explain themselves a little bit more profound than uh, you are willing to uh, listen so uh the next one it is uh, what can you do in order to help yourself and uh, that is going to be the tree of swords it's pretty clear here with the tree of swords into that position um it is that you should stop thinking about the poignant past the tree of swords is especially in your case guys with the with this follow-up it means that you need to leave the poignant thoughts because they are twisting uh, twisting and tangling through your mind and you're just feeling yourself lost Maybe the majority of you are um, apprehensive on what they should do right now. You know, are they going, should they give it a, a try or should they walk away? And uh, that, that whole apprehension here, the whole hesitance that you do have, it's created exactly by those poignant thoughts. And they, these thoughts doesn't have to be even related with this person. You know, recently you could have had a, a really bad breakup and now you find it very difficult to trust someone. But guess what? That person trusts you. So I think that they do deserve a little bit more seriousness and they, they do deserve a chance, at least according to those cards. So that is pretty much uh, how you can help yourself by just don't approach that uh, situation in between you and the person you're thinking of uh, biased that things are going to fall into ruin. Just give it a chance. That That's all that is needed. All right. So the next one is, is what do they um, have? What do you, excuse me, have over uh, your competition? And that is going to be the uh, Prince of Cups. A few things here. Uh, so with the Prince of Cups, the first thing it is that you are true to your feelings and that person uh, to your emotions and to your feelings and that person sees it. So it's kind of like you are not a hypocrite. That's one thing with the uh, Prince of uh, with the Prince of Cups. In other words, if you don't like something, you, you simply say it and they may not take it well, but at least it is the truth. And the person you're thinking of values that a lot. The other thing that you do have over your competition here, it is that you are not relying on a chance things to happen, but once you set your course, um, you do what it is necessary or you will do what it is necessary in order to achieve the goal. Uh, it's something that your competition doesn't have for what it seems. And therefore, you know, you can pretty much you do double time than your competition. And you also uh, improving the trust over your competition in this person. And these are the qualities that according to the pile, you should uh, pretty much lean to. All right. So the next one it is what this person needs from you in order to improve the situation especially with that heavy energy ten of swords uh the card here it is the queen of swords and that is about determination that is from you to uh because the queen of swords it is capable to push the things through and as we do have that card probably the person you're thinking of knows that you are going through a hard time it's just they don't know how to help you or they uh, how can i say it it's not like they don't want to help you but they are unable to help you 
And uh, what they need from you is to show your strength, to show that you are bigger than that, or right? bigger than those poignant thoughts that are twisting and tangling through your mind, and to show that um, they need from you to show that you are capable to push this one through, regardless of how difficult it is. Because the Queen of Swords always, I mean always, pushes the things through. And do you know how? By leaning on the poignant experience. So that being said, it is that this card is, is a um, signifier or rather like a, a, a testament that uh, you have undergone a very big and valuable lesson. Maybe recently, maybe a couple of years ago, it doesn't really matter. But from this lesson, you are going to um, extract the right answer you need um, in, this, uh, in this situation. And according to the card, the right answer is to push yourself, okay? And to simply, you know, push the thing through. Also, the Queen of Swords is about healing. So maybe that person expects from you as well to heal from those um, negative thoughts. And uh, the Tree of Swords is also about healing here, but the position does not uh, involve that property. Anyway, so now combined both, it's definitely uh, that person is um, willing to give you time, but they just need to see that you show interest as the energies dictate, all right? That, you at least want something to happen if you want something to happen. This is what they expect. And once they are sure that uh, you just need time, but you do have your affinities toward them, they, they, then most likely they will give you the whole time in the world you need. So uh, the other one, it is the challenge here, and the challenge is going to be the Seven of Wands. So that card only uh, signifies that you do have a competition. Not very strong, though. I mean, it's, um, it's pretty much you need to... You know, uh, what you have to do in order to overcome that challenge is just reminding that person that you do exist. All right, so keep up the communication, that's all. And uh, prove wrong any kind of rumors that comes... Um, uh, that, that is addressing you because with this card the competition is going to um, play dirty i mean their their weapon is rumors and gossips and this is how they will try to undermine your position in regards to this person and so you have to do whatever it's necessary in other words immediately addressing you know the rumor uh, or the the gossip that it is addressing your name so the other one it is the positivity uh, in um you know that, and we do have the Five of Swords. And uh, it's kind of awkward to talk about positivity with this card. Now, on a positive end, the Five of Swords points that one, it's completely fulfilling their limits, okay? So pretty much um, in, in a positive aspect, that person can give you whatever you are expecting. That's the positivity in all that. But uh, the limits, of course, are something that we are setting for ourselves. And as a minor arcana, and especially in the middle of the suite, you can definitely expand on those limits, all right? But just on the first, um, on the, on the first glance, or uh, as the first stage, that person definitely can. Um, how can I say it? Not just only fulfill, it's, it's more like justify your expectations. This is how I'm going to say it. All right. So the next one it is uh, what's uh, not to do here. And we do have the Prince of uh, Swords. <laughs> and that is about... In our country, we use the term raping the situation. It is like, you know, rushing it away too much. I mean, forcing it, if you will. So that is what you don't have to do here. And uh, another thing with the um, Knight of Swords, uh, it's uh, that, that is a pretty, pretty big thing here. Do not answer quite. Do not um, ask questions that you don't want to know the answer of. The answer of. All right. So, whenever you think that your inter intervention is going to be inappropriate, keep your mouth shut very very important yeah of course there are certain things that are covered for you right now i mean you don't know the whole picture but when that person is ready they are going to divulge you the whole picture so you don't have to once again a force the situation this is the thing that you should not do um here and do not try to be more smarter than you really are i mean do not try to slumber this person with your intellectual agility if you will 
So the, one, the last one, it is the uh, final guidance, cumulatively of all that uh, for you guys. And uh, that is going to be uh, the uh, Nine of Pentacles. And that card as the guidance tells us only one thing, leap into this future relationship development. That's the only thing. And do not take the things way too serious and personal as well. Be more carefree, you know. Try to see the things from the positive end because everything has two sides. There is always positive and negative. And guidance-wise, you know, see it from the bright side of uh, things. But above everything else, leap into this relationship development. All right, so that was about the first pile and uh, we are moving into the second one. See you in a minute. All right, so we are on the second pile and as we said, uh, the first position, which the card is uh, the uh, Knight of Wands, it is what are the energies surrounding the person you're thinking of here. And this is uh, the Prince of uh, Wands. So uh, it's, these are very, uh, how can I, they're very dynamic energies. Uh, that, that person is definitely, the energies is about trying. I mean, uh, they are just forcing that person to try out different stuff, different things, different approach. And of course, those are a little bit unstable energies. Why? Because one thing, it's it happens, the other thing doesn't happen, you know, and uh, it's simply, simply put here, one day that person can make you really happy and can fully kind of like uh, fit with your expectations. And the other day they could do stupid things and pretty much disappoint you in many ways. But that is because uh, the Knights of Wands, it's it's a bit adventurous kind of, uh, kind of nature. They want to find um, the best way, okay? The most productive and the best way. Uh, and that's why it's it's pretty much right now those energies are forcing that person to experiment with your relationship, with your interaction, with you, if you will. But one thing is certain that those energies are very much making it that person determined to do whatever it's needed in order to bring the things to the very end. So I don't think with this card, guys, that you have to be afraid that person, at least at that stage, is going to uh, leave you alone. Then the other one, it is uh, what they are focusing on right now. And we do have here justice. They have a lot of things to focus on. I mean, uh, you may be, how can I say it, just a part of their endeavors. And the thing is that every single aspect of their life right now, it is important. It's just they are in a, such a stage that they have to attend to everything that comes in their way. Of course, uh, their main focus right now it is how to manage their time, okay? So they can spread the time in such a way to give more attention to the things that are more pleasant and makes them more happier, you know, but also they're going to attend as well to chores. So uh, the, my point here is that you should not feel yourself neglected, that you that this person chose something else over you. It is because unfortunately at that stage, you, are, you and everything that is going on in their life are important things. Uh, they're focusing upon an astute discernment here. They, they really need to find out the true value of things in life. So I do think that you got to give them a little bit more time here to sort their things through, all right, to sort their things out. Because uh, for the majority of the people that you're thinking of, most likely right now their life is a mess and they're trying to simply structure it in any way they can. So the other card here is um, how do they feel about you? And we do have the two of swords. And now that is a little bit of a bumper. Uh, they don't have exactly feelings with this card. It's more like a uh, standstill that we do have with the two of swords. Uh, well, I, I haven't expressed myself correctly. They do have feelings. They just don't know what kind of feelings they are, that they do have, all right? And that's why they are experimenting, trying one thing, trying another, just so they can find themselves into all that. And uh, it's very important. As a matter of fact, it is imperative that you allow them to do that without bruising yourself upon them. Because with the Two of Swords, always 
the right choice or in this case the right feelings will become obvious for them but they have to find them on their own accord so you don't have to intervene there you don't have to interfere you don't have to be mad if you don't hear i love you once you say it all right it's just they they don't know what they feel right? but they do feel something with this um, uh, with this card it is just right now they are in this kind of stage that everything is in equilibrium and they let's say they cannot afford to feel something stronger towards something over another all right they feel the same way about everything and you gotta give them once again a, a time so the fourth one here was a what can the what can you do excuse me uh for yourself to improve uh the your standing in all that and this is uh, the page of cups a couple of things here that you can do first stop uh, focusing on the irritating minor details but focus instead on the overview actually three things the second one, which is um, also important, is show your emotions. I mean, that person needs to see that you are emotionally attached, not just only to them, but to their life as well. Third one, it is that you need to show to that person that uh, you are not exactly willing to change, but you are capable to change in a certain way because if you for example start living together definitely you have to change something all right they they also have to change something but you need to show at your end that um you know that this is bigger than than what it is right now or it is leading to something bigger than what it is right now and you are ready to face that change that it is looming on the uh on the horizon all right, so what do you have over your competition here? Uh, that is going to be the four of ones. Uh, pretty much uh, you don't have any competition because that card points that you are everything that that person requires or needs or have an expectations for at that stage. So do not get overconfident here, all right? It's pretty much right now that person has only you in their minds as a potential lover sweeter or as a person to move on with their life for now but if you force you know if you demand if you don't give them a, a room to catch up their breath uh that is not gonna last for long so you have to be careful with all that okay so the next one uh, it is um, what this person needs from you in order to the situation to be improved and that is going to be the two of wands so as we said um they see in you everything that they have hope for at that very moment uh but and this is kind of selfish here but they also it does look like that they have those hopes that you are even more so what they need right now is to uh from you is to how can i say it acknowledge your good positions in regards to them but as well try to improve those positions like flirt more with them you know call them more talk with them more um caress them more if you will so do more from everything that you are doing together that makes you a both happy and also start talking about the future this is what they need from you uh right now all right so the next one uh, it is uh, the challenge in the situation and that is going to be the sun card and the sun card as a challenge is a little bit of a um a very difficult card to overcome it could point to a couple of things um the one that i do believe takes place here for sure it is the expanding energies of growth so what the card points it is that there is an immense potential in this person for you that is it's just right now is challenging to unfold it for 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 a reason of his end that he doesn't know how he stands or she doesn't know how she stands all right and you gotta give them time to um to find out that's why the challenge for you guys is to hold down your horses, okay? And don't, once again, do not bruise and do not force the situation, do not rape the situation, okay? That's the biggest challenge. You're going to feel like you want to do everything right now in this moment, tomorrow, you know? And that's uh, not going to play you any, um, any good favor. I mean, right now you are in a... You 
you should be in a place of uh, how to, how can I say it of waiting instead of doing something they have to or I will put it that way okay they have to make the next step uh, by while you are reminding for yourself that is all that you gotta do ensure that you that whenever they are ready to make that step and they make that step you are also going to fulfill your end of the bargain here which is to uh, start changing uh, the other one, uh, it is about the positive in all that. We do have the hermit. There is only one way to see this, that that is the substantial thing in your life. That is the light at the end of your dark tunnel, all right? That is, yeah, it is the essential relationship that you're going to have. I cannot say that you're going to live happily ever after. I mean, until death do your part, but definitely it has a lot of to take from you. Okay, and it's something that you should not miss as a matter of fact. I don't think that you're gonna miss it. It is just, you're gonna make it harder than it needs to be if you force the things, uh, if you try to force the situation or to push the situation way too uh, aggressively. So the other one here, it is uh, what not to do. Um, we have the tower. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, uh, first thing is do not try to make them jealous. That is the worst thing you can do here. I mean, uh, you have to start from the ground zero. If you try to play your cards that way, you know, make them feel jealous in that way, you know, make them understand that they care, that they have to understand on their own accords. Ultimatums are not very, um, advisable with the tower card as well. Pretty much try to go the same way that you are going on with it right now. Do not do anything drastic, you know, and do not try to, yeah, do not threaten the things out. Do not jeopardize the things out. That's that's the whole point. Just to give you an example here, you're sick of waiting them to make up their mind. You call them and say, look, I had enough of it. Either we are together or you're never going to hear from me again. And most likely you're going to hear the answer, I'm not ready yet. So you have no choice but to say, well, you're not going to hear from me again. And it is how it shall be, but not forever, you know, but maybe for a quite long time. And pretty much you shoot yourself into the foot here. So, yeah, don't do those kind of uh, things. And the last one, it is about the final guidance. Uh, we do have the Tree of Pentacles. Support that person. That is the biggest guidance here from the Tree of Pentacles. They need to know that they can rely on your unconditional support through their development. Right now, they are developing themselves in career, in social circles, everywhere, even in love with you, all right? And they need to know that they can count on you, not just only in, in bed, all right? Not just only in house, in, in the house, in your home, probably mutual home in the future, but also in every single aspect of their life. For that reason, you have to aim from now on a, a very meaningful convert to have very meaningful conversations for the things of life you know for how they have um how their uh, day at work went for example what kind of a difficulty they are facing and all those kind of stuff and also uh, guidance wise here you have to, to speak the truth in other words Whenever you doesn't like, you have to say about it. Whatever they don't like about you, they have to say about it as well. So you can reposition yourself. They can reposition yourself. It's all about repositioning right now. Okay. And it's this, this, the whole thing in between you two right now to me is a test. Are you both ready and worthy for the relationship, for the amazing, excuse me, relationship that you can have in the future? So that being said, guys, uh, this was the second pile and uh, we are jumping into the third one. See you in a minute. All right. So we are in the third pile now and uh, let's see what uh, the cards has in store for you. So the energies which are uh, surrounding the person that you have asked for or that you have in mind, uh, these are the eight of swords, not very good energies. Those energies literally are depriving or blocking that person from any kind of, um, how can I say it? 
striving maybe uh, what I am trying to say it is that those energies are making that person being ignorant for certain things that are happening around them giving you an a, uh, example straight away you make a, a big gesture to them you know it's kind of like a big favor for example or you do something for them and they just simply doesn't notice it uh, these kind of energies we're talking about here those energies are pretty much they do serve a, uh, a purpose and they ultimately lead to uh, a big realization, a big understanding, okay, of the truth. Those energies are gonna open the eyes of the person that you have, uh, that you are asking for, okay? So they can open their eyes that they love you, all right? They can open their eyes for something else as well, but definitely right now that person, it's not acting or it, it, it isn't themselves or their ordinary selves uh, or as good as they can be until that process of finding the truth does not is not completed. So the next card uh, of, oh, one more thing about the energies here. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, those energies are disrupting the communication in between you two. In other words, uh, you may want to, you may want to say something to them and explain yourself to them, and they simply goes from one ear, exits from the other. It's like they have never heard it, okay, and all these kind of stuff. So do not be mad about it. However. All these kind of obstacles, they are pretty petite, okay, pretty, they, they are literally a trifles and they can and should be overcome as well. By, uh, for example, with time, by, for example, being a bit more elaborative, repeating yourself and all these kind of stuff. Okay, so the next one, uh, it is um, about what this person is focusing on right now. And we do have the death card and with, just with these first two cards, I could say that that person has significant problems right now in their life because they are focusing on not just only letting go of things, but they are suffering through things. It's kind of like a, um, you know, make, I would say making spring cleaning. They, they desperately need at that particular point in their life to um, to clear room for um, in this case for for you okay for the interactions with you or for your relationship as well but for that reason uh, they have to as well understand what does not serve them any longer uh, a favor any longer and for that purpose they need to understand the truth which bounces back into the energies so my friends, patience is required here. And, um, you know, uh, how can I say it? it's a, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's literally a patience and understanding from your behalf towards a dark person. <clears throat> now, with what they're focusing right now, it is to liberate themselves from the things that are in flux and that are only messing around with, uh, with their plans and as well with uh, their expectations in general. So the third card here, it is uh, what do they feel about you? We do have the Eight of Cups, very positive in this case, okay? So what the card points is that they feel regret, okay? It is complete regret, regret that they cannot address you and the thing you have in between you two appropriately. But they do hope that they will have that chance moving forwards into the future. That's why patience is required with you. It's not, how can I say it? Yeah, it's, well, in, in our language, we do have two different words, but one is patience through being with this person. The other one is patience by allowing that person to do what they have to do on their own. So it's kind of like we do lean here toward the second one, okay? So if there is something wrong in between you two, it is not your fault in this case. It is just there, there is something that they have to overcome in their life. It could be, you know, previous relationship. Maybe they are going through divorce and these cards would mean that the divorce needs to happen before something can happen in between you two and etc. etc. So the fourth card here it is what can you do in order to help yourself in all that? So we do have the Queen of uh, Cups. Queen of Cups, it is uh, the um, emotional companion. What I mean here, it is that you need to show that you do care for what is going on with uh, with that guy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. 
what kind of a gender the person is. You need to show emotional support and also, how can I say objectivity here? You need to be objective what you can help with and what you can't help with. But above everything else here, guys, you need to show that you are capable to cherish the feelings of your heart, okay? And that this person ignites a good feelings in your heart. And, and that's why you are with them. You're not with them because of their money. You're not with them because of uh, what kind of position they have in the society. You're not with them because um, whatever, you know, you're with them because they make you feel happy. It's as simple as that. And the last thing that you can do here, it is to show um, that you are discreet, that that person can talk with you about everything and that this stays in the room and does not leave the room and spreads as a gossip, okay? So the other one here is, um, what, do they, uh, what do you have over uh, your competition? And that is going to be the Tree of Wands. Um, not much of a competition with you either. Uh, the Tree of Wands here points that you are sitting on a pretty much solid patterns right now with this person. I mean, that uh, uh, you are almost kind of like the limits of uh, their expectations. Uh, additionally to that, uh, this person sees you that you do have the necessary qualities for a um, future relationship or to improve a relationship right now even if you do have a competition at that particular point that competition is only one-sided i mean that that person could be um a, a subject of a hitting okay but it simply ain't budging at that particular uh, at that particular stage okay so the other one is what this person needs from you to help the situation and that is going to be the queen of pentacles so confidence is the first thing confidence and not just only self-confidence but also confidence in them that they could pull their things through they can yeah they can pull their shits through if you will another thing here it is um how can i say it to show that you know what you're doing in general, you know, that you do have experience in such kind of a, uh, uh, situations and that they have nothing to be afraid of. In other words, that you are predictable, okay? That you're not going to surprise them with anything unpleasant. And the last, the last thing, excuse me, that you have to, um, that, um, you know, this person uh, needs from you in order to improve that situation is to uh, show them, if you will, that uh, there is a potential in you here to for unexplored by them. That with you, they can go so much more than they had with the previous relationships. And we're gonna get into this in a minute. Now the challenge uh, here, uh, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. So the challenge is pretty much obvious. Uh, the Five of Pentacles points that these are times of insecurity and that insecurity, it's uh, provoked uh, from a uh, problems that are coming from multiple fronts, not your fronts, his fronts, but uh, unfortunately as a, a his or her fronts, excuse me, but unfortunately as a his or her fronts, you can't do much about it right it's just the only thing you can do to overcome that challenge in that particular stage is to show extreme mental strength that you don't give up on that point simply you are not going to waver in the face of that they are facing difficulties and again it does require a certain amount of a um, of patience uh, that uh, you are uh, simply puts that you are ready to go with them through fire and ice, if you will, that you are with them in good and evil, okay? And uh, pretty much as the as the marriage goes, you know, we are together in a good and evil until they do, do us apart and so on and so forth. So this is the challenge that you need to, um, that you need to overcome in that particular uh, stage of uh, your interaction with this person. So uh, the positivity and all that. Okay, so we do have here the page of wands. Couple of positive events is what we do have here. The first one it is the uh, new beginning of the relationship, the resuscitation of the relationship, you know, or the new door that relationship is gonna move move through. The other positivity is a child. Okay, so it depends how how does the thing uh, involves 
um, which you bought. But also another positivity here, uh, it is that you're not going to interfere with each other's life. It's more like a, uh, that you are going to be in a um, fruitful relationship. Simultaneously, you are going to have as well your own personal lives without each other to interfere with, uh, with the personal life of the other person. So there won't be any kind of domination in, uh, in this relationship. What you should not do uh, in, uh, in your situation here, it is the next card, and that is the um, King of Wands. And the domination, it is what we talked about. So you should not try to dominate over uh, this person. That is first. Second here, it is that you should not, um, how can I say it? Uh, you should not show to that person that there are other things that are making you more happier than this person is making you happy, okay? So it's kind of like you need to, um, I mean, it's a bit awkward here, that is something that I would never go for, right? But, you know, sometimes it is what people require here that they are your only oasis, if you will, okay? That, that is the thing you need to show, or in other words, you don't, you should not kind of like make them aware that you are uh, happier in another place as well. And the last thing here uh, with uh, the uh, King of Wands, it is uh, about ambition, all right? Do not, do not necessarily, I mean, allow, um, a pretty much try to create a room for a negotiation. Uh, do not try to kind of like enforce your opinion over his or her opinion. And the last one, it's about the guidance. And um, we have the full card. And pretty much it's about taking the leap of faith and give it a go. It's as simple as that. The full card, give it a go. Because uh, guidance wise, the full card points that the potential of uh, that relationship is yet to be unfolded. Pretty much you can have it the way you want it, all right, at the end of the day. Well, of course, there is a long way to go for it. There will be ups and downs as well, uh, as well with the full card. The usual stuff, you know, where the couples face kind of drama, jealousy as well, and all these kind of stuff. But like we said, there should be an understanding in between you two and always, I mean, always always you have to show that they are the most important and happier thing that happened to you in your life. So pretty much uh, that was uh, the third uh, pile and uh, we're going to move into the fourth one in a minute. All right, so we are at the four, fourth pile and let's get on with it so the first card uh it refers to the energies that are surrounding the person you have focused on and uh, we do have the star card so i i don't like to see that i will be honest i don't like to see this card energy wise especially in that kind of a narrative and i will tell you why while the star card displays an energies of unfolding love and unconditional support there it also displays an energies of high ideals and high standards right so that being said is that this the energies are making that person to expect a lot from you uh because i saw the other cards as uh, you know i kind of like revealed the spread before we go to the interpretation you're not going to have much problem with it just so you know that at some point that person could become a bit overwhelming, right? And uh, through the energies. And why? Uh, the, the, the very question is why those energies are taking place. It is because um, uh, simply that person is placing a, a great hopes into what you have in between you two, all right? And um, they want to see the things unfolding. They want to see the things happening. Uh, they want, uh, I would say, a, a warranties, insurances, that you can go a long way. It's as simple as that. And that's why right now they are a, a little bit more demanding than they should be uh, with the star card. But nonetheless, um, 
the love for you, it's, uh, it's expanding right now. Depending on what kind of stage of the relationship you are, that um, dictates pretty much the amount of love. So if you have just met, of course, it will be a very tiny piece of it, but it is expanding at that point. I mean, I could say that this person is thinking uh, about you quite often. Uh, now, the other card here uh, speaks about what, um, are, uh, what they are focusing right now, and that will be the Page of Swords. So, uh, focusing-wise, Page of Swords, it does represent a kind of like a um, independable thoughts that this person has. I don't know exactly. Well, I would say it that way. He focused on a things that are very different for other people. I mean, you, you can find no reason in, in what that person is doing. You may be baffled why this person is doing those things. Now, if this person is focusing on someone else with that card, it's purely either for a sex or they're focusing right now on, on, their, uh, on their child, right? Uh, but uh, I do believe here that we are talking about a, this independable thought. He's trying to make something work. And uh, also uh, another thing that that person is focusing on, it is some sort of a, a source of help that is coming around. Very, very unexpected source of help, as a matter of fact, that uh, makes them act in a certain way that, again, it could uh, baffle you a lot. The third person is how does he feel about you? And uh, we do have the Nine of Swords. So these are their feelings. And uh, probably, uh, how can I say it? Well, uh, they feel pain, um, not exactly pain, but let's say remorse. Uh, they feel remorse that they either haven't treated you as good as you deserve, or they feel regret for something they have done that they should have not done. So in other words, they are feeling the repercussions of their bad actions. Another way to interpret this card as a feeling here, it is that they feel that they have only one chance right now, okay? which speaks for their deep feelings towards you and they don't want to shoot into the dark. They just don't want to uh, burn that one chance that they have um, sensing that, uh, you know, if you say no, that is going to be no forever. Uh, the other cards that we do have is going to be, uh, what can you do in order to help yourself in all that? We do have the Princess of Pentacles. So with the Princess of Pentacles, you can do a few things. The first one is that you need to show a youthful spirit. That is very important. The another, another thing that you can do, it is that you can show dedication, a devotion to the idea of being with this person. But above everything else, the most important thing that you can do in order to help yourself is to make a note that it is worth it, okay? That this person is worth it, that being with this person is worth it, that what you have in between you is worth it, that your love, for example, for them, it's worth it. And you have to make a note of it, you need to show it here. Okay, so moving to the next one uh, that displays, what do you have over your competition? And that will be the King of Pentacles. So, it's, uh, uh, you have a very important um, advantage here because uh, for one or another reason, the person you are thinking of uh, thinks that you are focusing only them. In other words, that you don't have any, anybody around, okay? That you are not interested in anybody around. That, necessary, that doesn't have to be necessarily the case, but it is what they think. And so you do have that over your competition. They are finding you very loyal, very faithful, and that you are willing to give just as much as they are gonna give you. So they see in you a very balanced partner, and that is a big thing having over a competition. Just don't overkill here. That is as well important. They, they, this person that you're thinking of, they are not someone that um, relies on charity, all right? If they don't um, give you much attention right now for one or another reason, they are not expecting you to give them much attention as well. Why? It is because they don't think they deserve it. 
and if you do so they makes them feel guilty which bounces back on the uh nine of swords you know they feel that they're not treating you right and that makes them feel bad that makes them feel poignant and the worst case scenario that makes them feel unworthy for you and you don't want that to happen right all right so uh what do uh what this person needs from you in order to this situation to improve that is the ten of pentacles we are touching the previous card now what do you have over your competition the ten of pentacles points that you need to show that you are independent that this relationship means a lot for you but it is uh, how can i say it you are not going to have it at all cost because um, that person it's kind of like one of these people that uh, like me for example that things that mm, <clears throat> If you don't do something for your own happiness, no one else will, okay? Uh, additionally to that, uh, it looks like that uh, the person itself, uh, it, it requires from you not to bring drama into their life. The Ten of Pentacles is completely deprived from drama. And as well, a, um, a longevity of thought, meaning that you should think for... Um, the distant future just like they do here with the with the star card all right the energies are making them focus on the distant future on the fulcrum what could be in between you two and that's why the love is unfolding in them but you have to show the same thing that's uh, you know how you know as for example when the things turn very serious and you start living together you know how you're gonna take on the things there uh, so in other words, they need to show that you're willing to invest once again, just as much as they're willing to invest. Like said, over your competition, they see you that way, but you also have to show it, okay? One or uh, the other way. And the last thing that they do require from you, as with all pentacles, it is trust. Very important that you can trust them, that they can trust you moreover. Okay, so the other one, it is about the challenge here, and this is going to be the Five of Wands. Now, I don't like to see this card as a challenge, uh, because the card points a big dynamic, a roller coaster. It means that there are going to be ups and downs, you know, for example, here, there will be a week where you're going to spend amazing time with that guy or a girl. There are going to be then two weeks not hearing from them whatsoever. There are going to be a lot of around turns in, in the whole situation, and the, which is going to, uh, how can I say it, provoke a lot of passion in between you two. And that is a big challenge because once again, we lean to trust. There cannot be trust where people are impulsive based on passion. You know, it's kind of like outbursting of passion, making irrational decisions of passion, being impulsive and etc. etc. So it's kind of like you have to be able to tame down your um, fire, if you will, or kind of like show that your embers are, bur are burning steadily and you cannot be swiped off your feet just because something happens that you don't necessarily uh, like. So the other card here points to the positivity in all that, the positivity in between you two. We do have the strength card and there is only one way to interpret this one. Can you see the infinity symbol? In tarot, the infinity symbol, it is the symbol of indestructibility. So once um, you end up together or you are together, um, no one can break you. Okay, unless you decide to do so, you both decide to do so. So the positivity in all that is that there won't be any third parties whatsoever. Additionally to that, uh, positive wise, you are not going to feel the necessity to, how can I say it, to prove yourself um, anymore to, uh, in front of anybody in your life um, romantically wise or as a, a human being if you will and last but not least there will be a lot of sex in it that's that goes with uh, with strength with the strength heart uh, and lastly excuse me that is about taming on the passion here i mean with this person you're gonna learn how to be calm how to be um how can I say it? Peaceful and, in other words, how to uh, persevere through a patience and humbleness. The other card here, it represents to what, what you should not do in regards to that situation. We do have the Ace of Cups. 
couple of things. Do not count on a miracle. Uh, it's something that's um, most likely ain't gonna happen. Another thing about the Ace of Cups is that you should not try to change the routine that you both have. Uh, is most likely you are already grown and mature people. You do have your things, you do have your differences, and this is what you have to live with instead of trying to change it so you can transcend, you know, the daily reality of both of you. And the last thing that you should not do is drown that person with emotions, right? Which goes probably hand by hand by the, uh, by, uh, with uh, the passion here. Try to, how can I say it? Try to be a bit more um, grounded and a bit more open. Objective. I don't know if that's the right thing to say here, guys, but yeah, try to be a little bit more grounded. Do not um, outburst every time. Once again, we do have a confirmation here with, uh, <clears throat> with the Ace of Cups. But the biggest thing that you should not do is try to change the routine or the environment or the person itself the way you like it. Okay, if you want to be with this one, you take it as it is or you simply pass on it. And the last one here, it is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering, we do have uh, the Eight of Wands, um, quite of an important one. We said that there is going to be big dynamic, ups and downs, roller coaster. So guidance wise, this card points that with this ups and downs and roller coaster, there are going to be a lot of enterprises as well that are to um, offer you both and an extraordinary experiences, very, very uh, exhilarating experiences, but not all of them, okay? So in order for you to, understand, to um, carefully choose which kind of enterprise to involve yourself in with this person, you have to face the, the enterprise with clear-headed mind. So do not approach it emotionally, but approach it mentally, kind of logically, okay? That's the best thing. So, if, for example, if that person approaches you with a proposition, do not lean toward what you feel toward that proposition. Lean toward what you think about the proposition. Important thing here with the uh, Eight of Wands, because the Eight of Wands it is a high risk, high reward card, and uh, few wrong steps you can deprive from everything that you have um, achieved. Once again, we said that the relationship is going to be indestructible, but from the exterior influences, not from the interior ones, all right? And you making wrong moves, it is the interior influence and you pretty much can ruin the whole thing. So that being said, this was the fourth pile. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, all uh, this particular content. Uh, let me know in the comments how do you find it, if you do have any suggestions as well, uh, how should I change it, for example, and so on and so forth. Um, I do read all of your comments. I unfortunately doesn't have much time to answer, but I do read all of the comments. Thank you so much. It is an honor to be, um, you know, your host, to have such a beautiful audi uh, audience um, as you, and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then.